Hey, it's Drew Neiser, and it's time for another Tuesday tip. We just spent about 50 minutes talking about tech stacks, the challenges, the opportunities. We have a number of CMOs who are here to share their tip on building a better and more productive tech stack. First up, Jamie Geyer, Ciros, what's your tip? My tip would be as we evaluate marketing technologies from the traditional sense of how we do our jobs to also put equal weight to the creative platforms that we use to feed a lot of those other technologies that engage our buyers. Okay, all right, great. Michelle Puglio from Sagewater, what is your tip? Just saying, in building, building one from scratch, it's really about trial and error, not going all in uh, until we know that it's working. Yeah, and I think that's so smart. I mean, one of the things that I talk about in my book is the need to really do this attentively and one at a time and making sure that you do this thoughtfully. Just don't go out and buy 10 at a time. Your team will never be able to absorb it. All right, Mike Brandon from Centric, what's your tip? I would recommend coordinating with your internal IT function as you make technology decisions around your tech stack. Some things have corporate ramifications, others don't. Best to engage IT before you go off and implement stuff that makes the people mad. Yeah, it's uh, funny because this is a lot of technology. And my understanding is that the CMOs are actually spending more on, on technology than IT is these days. So yeah, it, it will be helpful uh, to get them involved. All right, thanks for that. Um, Jamie Walker from Key Factor. Jamie, what is your tip? Yeah, my tip would be before you bring on any new technology, just make sure you have a strategy that has a process that then supports the piece of technology that you bring in because technology does not solve problems. <laughs> it it doesn't, wait, wait, you mean it's not ready, fire, aim? Just, hey, no, we need that. Not usually, not usually. <laughs> and the important thing is, again, you're taking money out of your marketing budget. I just want to put that framework out there. When you buy a technology, it means you're spending on a technology that in theory is going to make your marketing more efficient, more productive, somehow bring you competitive advantage. And yet it's not marketing and you can't confuse the two. Okay, Josh Leatherman from Service Express. Yeah, my piece of advice would be before you go out and invest in the tool, invest in the people who will own the tool. A lot of these technologies offer certifications and training for the individuals. Make sure they have the training they need. Make sure they're connected with the business owners they need to be connected with like sales and operations and IT. You will be much more successful implementing and integrating the tool if you are investing in the people who will own and run the tool. And I'm so glad you mentioned that in that uh, often when a technology doesn't work, it is a user error, as, as I like to tell my folks. It's because there weren't enough people assigned to it. So when you're budgeting for technology, don't just put the cost of the, the technology, but you also have to put a headcount, at least probably one per thing and have an owner. Okay, Julie Feller from US Legal, bring us home. Hi, um, everything that everyone said was on my list as well, but two things that came to mind, or I guess one tip that came to mind was right now we've started doing quarterly reviews of usage by both sales and marketing to see what's working, what's not, and kind of iterate on that so that we can obviously hone the strategy and make sure that it's working for everyone. And then we've also started to get executive sponsorship with the vendors we're working with to ensure that we're able to connect with other power users and we find ourselves kind of constantly suggesting ways to make platforms better and they're able to connect us with people who have done similar projects in the past as well. You know, I, I think that's so smart. The second part is one of the advantages of having other CM is reach out to the CMO of this particular software and talk to them. They probably know a lot about it and so forth. So I think that's what you're saying. Take advantage of those and get some personal contact. So, all right, this is your Tuesday tip. You're going to automate attentively. You need this technology. Some of it is incredible, but make sure that you really do it thoughtfully. That's your Tuesday tip. For more tips, um, if you're a CMO who can share, care, and dare with the best of them, check out cmohuddles.com or hit me up on LinkedIn and just say, hey, Drew, I want to learn about, see if I qualify for a guest pass. That's your Tuesday tip. Have a great day.